guys and welcome back to my curriculum picks for my fifth grader now I will tell you guys that this is going to be my fifth grade curriculum picks but this is my daughter that has a lot of medical special needs so the majority of the work that I'm showing you is actually going to be on a third grade level this is one of the unique things about homeschooling is that we are able to tailor our children's curriculum and education to their specific needs and I love that about this opportunity my daughter is specifically doing a third grade work instead of typical fifth grade work because she spent the majority of the first six, seven years of her life literally just trying to survive, learning to eat, learning to walk, learning to talk, working on hearing aids so she could be able to hear these things and actually learn and absorb them. And so with this, I don't consider her to be behind. She makes forward progress and that is what I'm concerned about. But I love the fact that we are able to meet her where she's at and she is quickly making gains and I think she's going to start bridging that gap but even if she doesn't, that's okay. With all of that in mind, let's look into what she's gonna be doing for next year. First up is math. She is actually going to be doing Horizons Level 3, Book 1 and Book 2. Um, she will be kind of, I think, still doing a little bit of Book 2 at the beginning of next year, but then we'll be able to go into Book 3, and I think we'll be able to finish both of these in the next year. So I'm really excited about that. For reading, she is currently in All About Reading Level 2, and again, she may bleed into that a little bit, into next year, but then she will start level three. She may even be able to move into level four because she is progressing so well with this program. I've been really impressed. Um, definitely waiting till later to start it has really uh, eliminated a lot of those struggles that I had in the earlier years with my older kids. And I am just been really, really pleased with her progress. She's picking up very, very quickly and reading very well. And so I really think we'll be able to get into this within the first few months of the new school year. And again, like I said, possibly even start book four. For spelling, she is going to be getting into All About Spelling 2 and again, probably three. It's just so hard to tell. With special needs, I focus a lot about planning what is working right now, knowing that things may need to pivot and to change in the future, and that's perfectly fine. But this is the plan for now is to do level two and maybe get into level three. She's really doing well with the hands-on component of All About Spelling, being able to to have the flashcards and the review and I've been really impressed with the progress so far. She will continue doing Explode the Code. If you guys are not familiar with these books, they're just a great supplemental resource for you to use in your homeschool, working on different phonics concepts and great review. So she'll be doing four and probably five next year as well. She absolutely loves these and it's something that she can do pretty independently. I always make sure to go back and check and correct any work that she may have gotten wrong, but it's something she can do pretty independently, which is always a big confidence boost when it comes to her and her schoolwork. The last few things when it comes to her language arts is she will be doing the next level of Grammar Galaxy. Grammar Galaxy is a very, very, very mild introduction to grammar and English concepts. I'm really excited to dive into this with her. I love the fact that it has an audio component. So I am a mom with six kids. I've got a lot of people going a lot of different directions and different people who need me. So anytime I can kind of have helps or outsourcing that is great. They just don't include a whole lot of writing, which will be nice um, because she does have one of her medical issues is that she does have juvenile arthritis. And so her hand can get fatigued very, very easily. So she's going to be able to go through these grammar books, listen to the audio book herself, and then we'll be able to go through those pages. That'll only be a couple of days a week, probably two to three days a week. As with my other kids, we'll continue working on poetry from IEW during our morning menu time. And this will be something that she always loves adding more poems to her repertoire. So she's very excited about that. For literature studies, she is going to be going through teaching the classics. Now with this, I will be taking the methods taught in this and applying it to picture books. And that's what I love about this program is that it is able to be applied to picture books and to chapter books. And so with this, I am going to go through the training myself with this. It's going to teach me how to use the Socratic method to help her understand the literature and do literature studies with her. And then I will be able to implement this both with books I read aloud to her as well as books she is able to read herself. For history, she'll be joining us for Biblioplan, Modern Days. This is going to be our history for next year and I'm really excited to dive into it. I really love the fact that not only does it give you the textbook to read out of, but it gives you a whole list of other books to go along with it, as well as YouTube videos and um, documentaries and things like that. And we're definitely going to be utilizing that a lot this next year. For science, we're going to be doing 
land animals. This will be a really, really fun one. We have done the birds before. Um, we've not done the water one, which is, so we're technically doing them out of order because this is zoology three. So we've done zoology one and now we're doing three. It's okay, it's fine, <laughs> um, but I'm excited to go into that. I did get her a journal. It is the junior journal, which is a little bit different. Those include more like coloring pages. Um, they have less of the crossword puzzles, although I do think they have a few. And their lined pages like here and for the copy work are more of the dotted lines instead of the solid lines um, and a little bit more space to write. So I think that'll be good practice for her. I'm not really gonna push her to use it a ton, um, but I did want her to have access to it as I really want to encourage her to start trying to write a little bit more. Also want to work on typing this year. She has not had any typing experience and I do know that that's going to be something that is a really helpful tool, especially with the arthritis and everything else going on. And so we're going to be using typing.com. Um, it's a free, easy to use resource. I do believe we paid a couple of years ago to have the ads taken off just because you can never control what ads are on there. And I want to say it was like $20, $25 for the year for her fun project or for her thing that she wanted to learn more about is she wanted to do more with art history. So we're going to be using the um, Have I Got a Story for You art program. This I used with my older son this year um, and she is going to be going through this video series, doing a few of the projects, probably not as many as he did. And we might even be doing this in our homeschool co-op. I'm not exactly sure yet. So this will be a really fun one. If you wanna learn more about this program and what's included, be sure to go check out this video I did here reviewing the entire program, letting you know everything you need to know about that. And be sure to subscribe because tomorrow I will be sharing with you guys my first graders picks. And then the day after we'll be talking about kindergarten picks. Talk to you guys later. Bye.